Well, good evening, friends. How are you doing this evening? I'm down here by the Puyallup River. It's actually um, Tuesday morning, and I thought I would tape tonight's message out here uh, out of the Puyallup River because tonight's message has to do with Keep moving forward like the river moves forward. Amen. And the word says, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans of peace and not of evil into an unexpected end. So he has the plans already mapped out. He's not going to come and give us an unexpected end in this COVID-19 situation. The plans are mapped out. All right, and what I need you to do this evening is keep moving forward. I need you to keep putting one foot in front of the other and keep pressing forward. Kind of like the river behind me, always moving forward. You can put something in a river's way and it will find a way to keep moving forward. Let me give you a look here. As you can see, the river is moving forward, always moving forward. You can put things in its way, like logs or bigger rocks or even trees, and it still finds a way to move forward. It keeps pushing and pushing and pushing till it breaks through to find a way to break to move forward. That's what we have to do this evening, Christian friends. We have to find a way to move forward. We have to keep pushing on. We have to keep taking our steps. We have to trust in the Lord that he has the plans, that he has our plan, that he has made plans for us. We have to keep pushing on. We have to trust in the Lord and his plans that he has for us. Plans of peace in this time. Look at how peaceful this river is right now. I want to take a moment and have you look at this tree across the river. This tree could not even stop the river. Even though it was, look, it was uprooted and, and fell into the river somehow, but yet it kept, the river kept moving. The tree and its roots and everything could not stop the movement of the river. God, the devil, cannot stop the movement of you. Amen? The devil cannot stop your movement. The devil cannot stop the way we move. If he puts something in our path, we're going to keep moving. Amen? The devil cannot stop us. Just like this river flows, we are going to flow. Amen. Just like this river moves, we are going to move. Amen. The, the water has a purpose. You have a purpose. We have a purpose. And that purpose is to serve our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Amen. And they are plans of peace and no evil. Look at this river, how it flows. There is nothing that can stop this river from flowing. There is nothing that can stop you from flowing in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Only you can stop you. Amen. Darkness can't stop you because you are the light. Amen. I'll say it again. The darkness can't stop you because you are the light. Only light can drive out darkness. Amen. Keep on moving. Keep on stepping for the Lord. Yeah, this might be an inconvenience, but you know what? This just gives you a better time to get closer to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Praise the Lord. Keep moving forward like the river flows forward. Keep praising God like the river moves. Keep praising, keep hollering, keep shouting, knowing that we are going to get through this together. Amen. Amen. Plans of peace and not evil that we may come into an unexpected end. This COVID-19 is going to pass, everyone. And we're going to meet again on a Friday night in the house of the Lord. And we're going to hug and we're going to worship and we're going to praise. Amen. But until that time comes, we have to keep moving on. We have to keep stepping forward. Um, I'm reminded of a song that we used to sing in church. Over in the old sanctuary, it was, uh, I come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. And if we've come this far by faith, why can't we continue to go farther in our faith? Take another step in our faith. I know that uh, Sunday, Pastor broke down 
what faith was and the meaning of faith. And I just want to take it a little step farther today about using some of our heroes of faith. Um, can you imagine if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, right before they went into the fiery furnace, if God said, well, you've come this far by faith, and this is as far as I can bring you. You're on your own now. <laughs> that would be silly. That would be crazy. God is not going to abandon us in our time of need. In fact, he's going to scoop us up off our feet and walk with us even farther. If he's got to carry us, he will carry us. Amen. He did not just stop and leave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego at the fiery furnace. In fact, he joined them in the fiery furnace. So much so that the king had to question the guards on how many men did we throw in this furnace? Because I see four. Amen. So if we've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, why can't we go farther in our faith? Why can't we come farther? He's just not going to stop and abandon us in our time of need. Amen. He's going to get us through it. Yes, it's a different way of life right now. Yes, we can't hang out with our friends and family. But it's changing. It's coming to an end. I can feel it. And when we get to meet in the house of the Lord and talk to our brothers and sisters and give out them hugs, it is going to be a great time. Amen. I pray and I pray and I pray that the first Sunday that we're back from this COVID-19, that we can celebrate at full function, that our house is filled, that Tacoma Christian Center is packed. Every seat in the house is there to worship the Lord. And when pastor comes out to give his word, oh my goodness, what a word it will be. We will be back. We will be celebrating. We will be rejoicing. But until then, you have to keep stepping forward. You have to keep moving like the river behind me moves. It always finds a way to move. It always finds a way to keep moving forward. And that's what we have to do. That's what we have to do. Find your favorite worship songs. Google them. Um, YouTube them. Uh, Spotify, whatever music, however you get your music, do that and play your favorite praise and worship song and praise along. You don't have to be in the house of the Lord for those songs to take effect. You can be where you are. You can be in your car. You can be in your home. You can be in your backyard praising and worshiping before the Lord. Amen. He's there. He's there. He's out here with me. And in fact, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put on a couple of praise and worship songs before I leave here today because I am at peace. I am at peace. The joy of the Lord is my strength, and I am at full strength. I am strong in His might and in the power of His might. I am strong in His will. I am strong that He will keep me, like Jeremiah 29, 11 says. For I know the plans I have for you. He knows the plans he has for me. And it is not to bring me halfway and stop. I just celebrated my 56th birthday of this past Monday. And it was different. Normally we go out to dinner and, and celebrate birthdays. But we had a, a home dinner. The boys were over. One of the boys' girlfriend was over. And we had a blessed time. I considered it part of my March and April blessing because I had a birthday uh, dinner that was homemade. My uh, oldest son barbecued hamburgers and my youngest son, he uh, made homemade french fries the way that mom used to make them. Cut them up, the potatoes nice and thin, put them in some grease and fry them up, crisp. And oh my lord, was that a great dinner. It was a great time. We uh, rented a movie afterwards. Uh, we sat down in the man cave, all of us, and watched the movie, and it was a blessing. We didn't have to go to the movie theater. We didn't have to go spend a lot of money on a big dinner. It was a blessing to me, and I counted that part of my March and April blessing. And before I put my head down uh, that night, I said, Lord, thank you so much for giving me such a simple blessing. Such a simple, simple blessing. 
and I received all of it. Amen, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I got to tell you, folks, this uh, COVID thing's coming to an end. I can feel it. Um, we're getting ready to do some things. Make sure you take care of yourself at this time. Make sure you take care of yourself. Go ahead and write some comments below. I will get back to you, uh, well, to my family all over the place. Um, I love you and I miss you. My relatives in, in Kansas and in Indiana, uh, relatives in, in Canada and in California, and my relatives here in Washington. I, I, I miss you guys and I love you. And mom and dad, I miss you and I love you and I'm going to come see you. Um, when we get through all this, I know you're in that upper age group, but church folk, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward like the river moves. Be inspired that we are taking steps to take care of things. Be inspired that your prayer life is growing. If you've been praying more than you would normally have, be inspired that that part of your life is growing. And God has seen that, amen. But know that Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans of peace and not an unexpected ending. Amen. God bless every single one of you. God bless every single one of you out here tonight that's listening to this message. I thank you for it. I thank you for your time. I thank you for listening to... Uh, a kid from the backwoods of Gig Harbor uh, minister to you. Um, comment down in the comment section below. Send me a text or an email or something if you need anything special. Um, before I pray us out tonight, I have to remind you that we will be serving communion at Tacoma Christian Center, 35th and McKinley, from noon to 2. You can drive up in your car in the parking lot and we'll serve you communion. And you can just honk your horn and praise and worship style and then be on your way. You don't have to get out of your car at all. Uh, the deacons, we wear our mask and our gloves and we go ahead and serve you. And let's go ahead and end tonight in a word of prayer. All right, let's go ahead and pray as this beautiful river flows. Father God, Lord, I thank you for your beauty. I thank you that you have created everything Father God, on this earth, that you have created us for a purpose, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for everything that you've done. I thank you for Jeremiah 29, 11, that you know the plans already, that you know the plans that you have for me, Father God. And I trust that you know the plans that you have for me. And those plans are of peace, Father God, of peace. And I count those steps, Father God, those plans, the love that you have for us, Father God, the love that you have for your people, Lord Jesus. Father, I praise you, I praise you, I praise you. And I thank you so much, Lord, that you are so worthy of our praise. I'll climb to the highest mountain. I'll go to the lowest valley, Father God, to praise your names, Lord Jesus. I will sing the praises of my King. Father God, keep on protecting your people. Keep on protecting the folks that are listening to this message tonight, Father God. Keep them moving forward, Father God, like this river moves forward. Keep them moving forward one step at a time, Father God, like the river finds a way to keep moving forward, Lord Jesus. Father, I praise you and I thank you. And it's in your son's name we pray and we all say together, Amen.